All right, everyone. It's some story time. It's Road to Virtuoso time. I've been wanting to do an episode for a while now, but I figured, you know, it's the start of May. I know it's like the 6th of May that I'm recording this. But to me, it's kind of like the start of May because last week was kind of just like hectic with just a lot of stuff. But basically, I'm just checking in with you guys, letting you know what's happening with me, what I'm doing, what uh, what the what the plan is, what's going to be the May goals, um, what I want to hoping to achieve by the time we jump into June. So I was just thinking about it the other day. Um, well, actually just thinking about it yesterday because yesterday I, I took a little bit of time to be like, let's just have a chill, Luan. You've been going at like 130, just like 130%, 130. I was like 130 Ks. I'm like, that's fast, isn't it? But anyway, but I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm like, okay, so my goal for April was like, I need to learn how to work. Like I need to train myself to be like, okay, what does it feel like to work? And I would say... I hit that goal. (laughs) Um, There were definitely some days where I was like, wow, this really, really sucks. Like when you hear of all the content creators that are putting in like 12 hours, 14 hour days, or like I'm a big, uh, one of my big heroes at the moment is Alex Hormozzi and Layla Hormozzi and another guy called Sam Ovens. And, um, and what they were talking a lot about was like, um, like in their early business careers was they were doing like um, all of the growth aspects of their business. They were doing from like 4 a.m. to like 10, 11 a.m. And then from 11 a.m. to like 10 p.m. They were doing like the actual running of their business. And that was how they were able to compound their growth like so crazily. And I was like, okay, well, I feel like I don't have to do that because that's pretty crazy. But I feel like I can sustain my current business as a live performer um, and then keep up with my live stream and then I can build a music school. Shouldn't be too crazy, right? Um, it was fucking crazy. I'm telling you right now, uh, highly don't recommend it. Um, but the, the super cool thing about it is, is we got it done. There were some days where between doing school, doing, um, like school is our online music school. If you haven't checked it out, it's pretty cool. Um, but basically, uh, I was building this music school. I was gigging. I was organizing all the admin towards my business, which is like responding to emails, um, reaching out to events and stuff like that. We did our own, like my very first concert where we sold tickets for that as well and promoted it. Like, there were, I swear there was one, actually, no, there was one day. It was a 20 hour day. I was like, man, this, it, what was crazy about the 20 hour day was when I finished the 20 hour day and I woke up the next day, I just did more work. And I was like, all right. So there's, there's been a new unlocking of an ability. And I was like, okay, wow, you really can train work ethic, like not work ethic, but like train the ability to work on things that are hard. Cause that's the hot, that was the trick, right? Once you get comfortable with something like for instance, I'm very comfortable gigging. You could give me 12 hours of gigging and I'd be like, we good. I can handle that day. That's not a problem. I've done that day many times. Um, And so I was like, I know what to expect. It's just like literally go through the motions and get it done. For me, that doesn't count as work at that point. That counts as like, um, like I'm just good at, like I can do it and I'm good at it. I'm like, oh, like I will make it through. You know, I will make the money and it'll be fine. Um, on the other end, I, the n- next day will come. I know how that goes. But to uh, get up and script a video, record a video and be like, all right, this is the video that I want to currently put into a course that I want to help other people do. Um, and putting that level of effort in is like a whole new set of work because I was like, man, I'm just not, there's a lot of stuff that goes into this. And I was like, oh God. Um, so being able to push myself through and like learning new songs and things like, like anytime there's like a new challenge, I've always been someone who procrastinates um, jumping in on the, on the harder stuff. Like these are, there's always going to be like, especially if you're a business owner, um, 
or just even just in general, your life, if, like, if you have things in your life that you're trying to accomplish, um, if you're in school or whatever you're trying to do, uh, usually it's the really, you know, the hard thing that you need to do and you just like, ah, I'll do that later. Um, so this like April was like the month of like learning how to just do it, like learning how to be like, I'll do it later, except later is now. And, uh, I will do this right now. (laughs) And so it's my brain goes to later and then I quickly course correct it to now. And so that's how it's been going down. And, um, that was how we were able to record over 55 videos. So I recorded 55 videos for this online music school. Um, when I first got into YouTube, I follow like this, uh, this, uh, uh, group called VRA Academy. It's by this uh, YouTube crew called uh, Think Media. They're they're very very cool. If you're not if you haven't like jumped into it yet, like you probably have known them if you're into content creation. But if you're not, they're a really really great free resource. But they have like a they have like a, a community group that you can join. Anyway, so one of the things that they recommend is like just push record and do it. And then they're like one video a week. So I was like, I think in six. I think it was about five six weeks it was how long it took me to do the 55 videos and i've already scripted the songwriting videos um and like yeah i i felt it it was it was hard so for anyone jumping into content creation um they recommend one a week and then i was like yeah so (laughs) if we do one a week then that means the school is going to be like useful for people in like fucking months so I was like, well, I guess we're just going to have to going to have to Kobe it up and do the three a day and like grind it. Like, so some days was like, I think, I think the the hardest day was like 12 videos. And now I say 55 videos. That doesn't include all the bad takes, all the bad videos, the videos I had to re-record. I had to re-record the whole theory course because I finished it and I was like, it's not clear enough. Like it, it's just not correct. So that to go back, rescript it, and re-record it. And now I think it's, um, if I got that theory course when I was younger and I didn't know music theory, I would have been like, thank you, thank you so much for answering all these questions. That like, fuck, man, it's it's gonna save a lot of you a lot of time if you're into music theory. Um, and even the singing and playing guitar course, like that took a lot of iterations. But anyway, April was the goal. Get school done. I'm super, super proud of where we've gotten the uh, the school community at. Like, um, we're at the foundation level, so I've got like my my core pillars of of content that I want to be pushing all the time, which will be guitar content, sing, uh, singing, playing guitar content, live looping content, improvisation content, um, music theory content, and songwriting. Songwriting is the last one um, that I've scripted. It's going to be recorded today, and it'll also be posted pretty soon. So. Once the songwriting one's done, um, then I'll just be going through and weekly just adding bit by bit. And so I'm really excited because May um, is going to be like the month of like optimization. It's going to be like, let's optimize everything, go back to the stream. Let's like bring in like fun stream element stuff. Let's fix some of these uh, emotes that we've got, bring in some sub badges for people on Twitch, uh, figure out how YouTube monetization works because... Uh, we got monetized by YouTube and became YouTube partner and I literally haven't even touched it. Um, I keep getting notifications. Hey, you need to monetize. Hey, you need to monetize. And I'm like, guys, I cannot think about this right now. I have no idea. You want my tax info and all this bullshit. I was like, oh my God, I can't even figure this out. Um, so that would be pretty fun to look into. Uh, there's stuff about affiliate links and things like that. Um, we'll we'll have to figure that out. A lot of people asking for what equipment I use. Um, I'm, I'm sure that the YouTube smart people, uh, they say set up affiliate links so that people, when they see what you want to get, they can also help support your stream by purchasing the same equipment as you. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Well, I might do that. But basically this is going to be the month of optimization. This is going to be the month of me, like kind of getting back to music. I've been doing so much on the content front that I'm just like, like, I just want to do music. I just want to play songs. I want to get learning. We started our accelerated community, which is the community of that I want to do coaching and just watching the people jumping in on there, posting like they're learning and, and seeing them pivot and then do better. I'm like, oh, I need to jump in there. You need me. I don't need you. I need to get this. I need to get this song right away. Um, and Little Wing, I want to do Little Wing by Stevie Ray Vaughan. So um, that's pretty much pretty much what's happening. 
currently. Um, so that's what, what you can expect from my content over the next month. It's going to be jumping more back into like getting more clips from the stream, posting it, start growing the stream again. Um, cause we took like, I pretty, I took pretty much a month off growing the stream, like very little shorts, very little clippable content. There's just not enough time in the day, um, to pull that all off. But one thing is uh, I've got like my last, I've got two more private lessons and, and then I'm done with that element of, um, of my stuff. So I'm trying to just clean up the operations of my week. Um, because there's a really cool concept that I heard, uh, last week, which was, um, difference between makers and managers. And so, uh, it's a thing that I'm, I believe Alex Almos is going to make a video for it, but him and Sam Ovens, they're the two co-owners of school. Um, they were talking about like, you got to figure out, are you a maker or are you a manager? And right now I'm doing both, which is fine. At the beginning, you're totally meant to do that. Um, but you need to plan your schedule towards being like feeding the maker, which is the con like that's the music side of me. That's the part of me that wants to push to write a hit song, wants to get better at my craft, gets better at singing, get better at um, learning songs, playing the guitar. Um, that part of me wants to do that. And then the manager side of me is just like, oh, like got to post your like your your long form and your shorts every day. Got to got to reply to these emails. Got to market your shows. Got to you know um, set up the school and market the school and things like that. For me, like the maker part is the part that I really need to be feeding right now um, because I've been doing that other stuff like quite a lot, and um, I'm pretty excited to see how this month goes because. You know, you put in like a huge amount of hours in one thing and you're like, okay, cool. Like, let's give that a break. Now, like school is like a thing that I can just put in like an hour or two each day and it becomes like this bite-sized chunk of my 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 work day, which is really good. And then I can like start getting back to doing like, you know, four or five hours um, of just music, which is kind of like, that would be the dream. Um, and then obviously like, on the grand scheme of stuff. Like we really want to be pushing to like, if we can get to the place where I don't have to do gigs would be like a, a huge, huge level up for our, um, our community, but that's going to take a little bit more time. Um, I think maybe by next year, January, we might, we might hit it. Uh, I, I was, I was like, Oh, I could brute force this. I'm like, nah, there's no brute forcing this. Like, there's like, um, you can, if you were like a specific kind of creator, push yourself pretty hard. But realistically, you know, I have a wife and child that I love and I want to hang out with them. And I notice that I'm spending way less time being present in the times that I'm home. And like, it's just like, oof, that stuff is rough. Like, like for people who have kids, they will understand for people who don't have kids. I'm, I'm sorry, like you won't get this till you actually have a kid. But it's like knowing that some of those moments are like the last moments you're going to get with your kid in that context. You're like, you just never know, like, cause they grow up so fast. So it's like, it's just embarrassing for me. I just find it so embarrassing that when I'm like so caught up in my work, I'm like, oh, did I, did I post this video? I've got to make sure I edit this thing, make sure I clip this thing. And because I'm like, I'm doing all the stuff in the studio, I'm getting home and then I'm editing the videos and then posting them and because like there's such a time sync that goes into them and you always got to pay attention and babysit it like I mean, it's, once that upload finishes then clip this next one and then get it ready and then upload the next one and then wait for it to render there's just like time that gets cut off in the editing process so i think what i'm going to do is slow down on the uploads because i've been going pretty hard on the uploads uh that'll probably mean maybe i i, I reckon a great cadence for school would be like three videos three videos a week. Um, and if I can push it, like if I'm feeling inspired, I'll do more. Um, but I reckon three videos is going to keep every, I'll keep iterating um, on the school. And so by the time we hit January, I think we could hit like around a hundred plus videos inside school. Um, f just like filled with huge content that people can benefit from. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, so May is, is optimize. And when I say optimize, it's like optimize my businesses, yes, but truly it comes down to optimizing life. Um, and uh, 
like building a schedule that allows me to be a maker, not just a manager in the sense of like, I'm going to be doing things that I'm going to really build my craft because my craft is truly like if you, if you're a musician and you're trying to build a business as a musician, a lot of the times musicians get caught up in like what we call like second, third order consequences of like, you start booking gigs. Now you have to focus on that game of like, oh, I've got to book gigs or I've got to get weddings or I've got to get private functions. I've got to, and and then you stop focusing on the thing that actually makes that shit happen. And so that for me has been like that, you know, the challenge. And so it's like, okay, well, we really need to make this product insane. And the other thing that's been happening is the more I've been doing that, more I've been leaning in on the product, product, like my ability, my ability, my ability, and I lean more in it just because as a consequence of just doing something so much and really iterating on it, like I practice quite hard, um, it has now made the other side a lot easier to do because the, it's not a conversation of trying to sell. It's usually just like either people can't afford me or um, they book immediately. So that's like, that's how amazing uh, like that business model has starting to turn because it's like now there's less friction there. It's because the question of whether I know how to do my job and I'm and, and am I good, that's kind of like gone now. Like people have been like, we've seen you at enough shows. We see you online all the time. We see all your content um, and we love it. And like that's been the general consensus. So I'm super appreciative that that's how it's like been been moving. So it's really, really cool that that's how my business is rolling. And so hopefully as I optimize the maker stuff even more, like optimize the the music, it's going to make the business side even cleaner. Um, and if I can get to a point where it's just like literally I can, if I can eliminate uh, even just like the conversation, like it's just like they they submit a form and, and they're booked, that would be like glory. Uh, and then the only conversation that I have with um, vendors or like, um, or clients is just like, hey, how can we make your, your event super epic? Because they already know what they want. They've already purchased it. They're ready, ready to go. Um, so if I can get to that place, oof, that will be that would be like a twenty out of ten experience. But we'll see how we go. Keep working at it. But um, now I'm getting inspired. I'm like, how can I do that? I wonder if there is a way. You guys can see my head thinking like, I wonder. Could I build a stand store and just like set it up like <laughs> set up like a stand store with like a with like a like a a big like book your band and then you pay it through a stand store? That'd be funny as hell. Oh my god, I'd love that. I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. Something to think about. See, that's my like manager brain thing jumping in. But anyway, so just want to say thank you to everyone who's been tuning into the streams, hanging out, doing all the things. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy. Uh, these road to virtuoso stuff like I want to get more and more into it um, I think uh, as much as I am sharing this with you a lot of this is just for me I would like to go back and document and like see ah oh, that's what Luan at that headspace was thinking that way you know so it's it's been pretty fun to document because I look back at some of the older videos and I'm like ah you're you were an idiot <laughs> like there was a video of like yeah I'm not gigging anymore I'm not booking any more gigs and I was like I look at it now and I'm like, you're an idiot, Luan. How entitled could you have been to think that you would just like make money out of thin air? No, you got to work. You got to you got to do the grind and then double the grind, triple the grind actually. Like for me, it's like I do the stream and I do the content around the stream. And then after I do that, I've got my, my business. And then I was like, you know what? Let's add the school. Like, uh, but the school is the the true gem, I reckon. I reckon, um, like, I'm putting all my bets on that the school will be what makes our stream successful. I, I just totally believe it. Um, I think that where, every, where I have seen huge growth in the stream has come from the value that has been accumulated over time. And I think that the school... Um, community, the fact that we will have, sorry, Sarah's messaging me. They're about to come home soon. So I'm very excited. I get to see them tonight. I haven't seen them in like four days. It's been rough, but we're going to have fish and chips. 
on the beach. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so it's like, I just totally believe that the school community is going to be this thing that we, we create that's going to create like this resource that's going to build so much goodwill towards people that they're going to be like, I'm hoping that it works in the way that they get the goodwill and then them just sharing our stream, sharing our community, sharing our school um, is going to one, uh, raise viewership on our stream. And, and when I say viewership, like we want it to be healthy. Like I don't want to be viral. I don't want to have like random people just like screaming in the chat and being obnoxious. Like it's really entitled of me to say this, but it's like, I just want a great community. And like, I don't, I don't want us to take the shortcut. Like, I don't want us to be like having to do what other streamers do and build parasocial relationships and do all these things. Like, like I enjoy what I do and I want to keep doing what I do. And I want that to also bring other people value, um, in the form of what I'm doing, not in the form of them, like having to like, I don't know, guilt or I don't know. When I, when I see streamers, I just see it. It's like, there's like this huge, like, like a uh, push for like parasocial relationships because it converts like it truly does. Like, and if you don't know what parasocial relationships are, it's like where the, where the people um, become like, uh, they think that the streamer is like their partner kind of thing. And they get like super like emotionally like connected and they feel that way. I believe that's what it is. But anyway, it converts really, really well for some of the, um, for some streamers and, uh, and it's kind of what's encouraged within the streaming community because it converts. And I'm like, I don't, I don't like that. Like that, like I just want to play music and get better every day. And that's all I want to do. And then if I can make everyone else better as well, and then it's either going to make other people better at music while watching me do it, or it's going to bring entertainment to people because they get to see music. Hopefully that's good. Um, well, eventually like, it's going to be good. Like I'm going, I'm working so hard that you just can't not be good. And so there will be a level of musicianship that we're going to hit. That's going to be very, very high and it will be world-class. Um, it's going to take time. Uh, it will take like five, to, five to 10 years, but I reckon five to 10 years, we will have a shit hot community, shit hot stream. It's going to be so good. And then we will have this gigantic, you know, product of a free music school that's going to help people like it's going to help teachers teach. It's going to help students learn before they have to go and spend heaps of money on a teacher. Um, uh, and it's going to set some people like there's a course that I really want to do. Um, two of them, the content creator course, which is going to hopefully inspire people to jump in and post content and do that thing. And then the second one that I'll do as well is like a business course um, and just teach how to make money as a musician. Like, cause too many times I see, I see musicians feel like they just like can't, they can't get ahead and they have to compromise their art and they have to compromise what they do and they miss out on like, they have to have jobs, day jobs. They can't support a family. They can't like, they have to give up on music, you know? And so it's like, that's one thing that I'm like, you know, like there's ways to do this. It's not the most glamorous way to make money, um, you know, but it will make you money. It will make a living and it's better than having to go get another job because you're still doing music. Um, and you can still use that as platforms to uh, get better. And then eventually if you guys scale, um, I'll show you guys the tricks that I used to scale and then build the on online content stuff. But that's that's in the future things. Anyway, I'm gonna sign out, sign out of this video. Peace out A-Town. So yeah, month of May is optimization. We're gonna have our country night on the 17th of May, which is gonna be awesome. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep grinding. I'm going to try and bring a lot more event style stuff towards the streams, uh, obviously optimize the streams, get like stream elements going, really learn about how stream elements work, uh, how to get bots in there, how to put things in there that will like, you can trigger commands in the stream so that it can be like, if someone's like song list and it'll just be like, bam, song list pops up to them in the chat. So, and then I need to figure out how to set up the streamable, thing that I use that gets collates all the chats and I need to try and like set it up that it like removes like people sharing and people spamming. Um, but, so it makes the chat a bit cleaner because obviously if we're going to try and grow this into like a really big stream, 
uh, these systems need to be really figured out. And um, anyway, it is what it is. Well, peace out, A-Town. Uh, I'm going to get ready and do this uh, stream we're about to do. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging out. Um, we're ready to rock and roll. So uh, I'll probably just finish my coffee. I might record a video for school. And then I will see you on stream probably a bit earlier. So catch you guys in the next video. And if you've been liking what we've been doing, uh, just uh, let me know. Uh, I love your feedback. I love I love everyone jumping in and into the chats and and letting me know when I do a video and it helps you, like, truly makes me work harder. Um, because, like, a lot of us content creators are not, uh, like, immune to bad feedback. Uh, like, I will I will just see actual straight up hate, just like people shit on me. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. Uh, but then, like, literally on the inverse side, as soon as someone, like, like I had one where, like, some people were following on a couple of videos and just like really being like nasty. And I was like, one, I felt bad for them because it it was just like they totally missed the point of what I was trying to do. But the um it makes it harder to do the next upload. But for me, like for most creators, it's it a hundred percent affects the next upload. They just like will not do it. Um for me, I was like, it is what it is. Like it's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna keep going. Maybe this is just me having no skill. Uh, and I just got to keep getting better. And then I made the next upload and straight away the feedback was like, thank you so much. This really helped me. And I was like, then there was another 10 uploads. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> so, so your feedback really does help. Uh, not, not, not in the sense of like getting high on your own supply, which is like, that's not a good idea. That's really bad. But understanding that when you guys give feedback and being like, Hey, this helped me, I'm learning more from this or this didn't really help me like i'm still a bit confused uh it does give me directional uh understanding of like what content is is hitting um and then also it makes me understand like was this meant for this style of viewer or is it meant for this style of viewer but obviously because i've been posting heaps of school videos um it makes it harder because those those videos are optimized for school they're not optimized for youtube um but we will make um youtube only like educational videos that um, will be lead magnets to the school, but I will um, have to work on that. They'll be more like, ooh, fancy and like shorter and condensed, not really elaborate. Like they won't have bigger context and they won't have like modules. They'll kind of like be the the courses like condensed into like a 10 minute video, which um which would be nice as a sound bite for people to get an idea of what's going on, but it's not um not as informative as jumping into the actual school courses and like going through each video and, and getting the full context of each concept. Anyway, I will see you guys soon. I'm going to turn this video off because I should have turned it off before, but and now I've just been ranting for like 28 minutes. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next stream and the next video. Let's go.